back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. He got two can bend and tie his shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to help my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark hunter. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that shark. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. Spacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. Handyman special overlooking breathtaking panoramic lake views, open living with vintage appeal. Call Deborah. Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners, with spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals.
No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. discover the miracle of self-love. Nothing gets a kingfish in the mood quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double bogey. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors' golf.
The monster approaches, ready to attack. Nothing gets a kingfish in the mood quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double boat. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors' golf. of Baton Tordu who commissioned this piece apparently found it whimsical. Whereas if you ask me, it's a little trite and unimaginative. in her diet. Shark fin traders come every year to Baton Tordu, because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionalist body parts than a $450 round of golf?
knows how long a shark can live out of water. If this one doesn't return to the sea, she'll eventually find out. Turn to her native ocean home. Many a child has run away to the sea with a head full of romantic notions of dynamite and sharks for a living. Killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionless body parts than a $450 round of golf. Did Golden Shores import this Mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. Shark hears the faint, distant sound of a dinner call.
Golden Shores import this Mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting story. Kill or be killed world of the sea. Performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Upon using this medication, if you experience priapism, do not attempt to improvise your own surgical shot. Fast and aggressive, the Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the Peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako. Sultan of Speed, the Maker.
and aggressive, the Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the Peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako. A shark's skin has chemoreceptors that taste the water for possible prey. Cajuns that fish and trap here don't use depth finders or GPSs. They know this bayou by heart.
For decades, Rosie has been a star in Big B's Bayou Buddy stunt show, but our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic brand of celebrity. The Bayou Brawl, the American Alligator. Sensory organs are all situated near its mouth.
Rosie has been a star in Big B's Bayou Buddy stunt show, but our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic celebrity. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. The shark is relentless in its pursuit of their quarry. shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater.
Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. Did you know that sand harbors 10 to 1 or Clovis responds with swift retributive action? are still legal according to Baton Tordu course rules, but not for long if membership director Doug Thompson has anything to say about it. an exciting and growing field where you can risk alligators and venomous snakes for seven to ten cents per ball. The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam.
Like any predator accustomed to feeding on a wide variety of prey, sharks are always eager to investigate potential food sources. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite. Consistently the most difficult hole on the course, many golfers struggle with this par 7 humdinger. The situation looks dire if the big fish doesn't find water soon. sense of smell is simply astonishing. The shark hunter is the only thing keeping tourists from a nasty, horrible death. Outside of just avoiding the beach for a few minutes. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst.
quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. All right, I took one bite out of the day. Somebody's drinking team has a drowning problem. Mighty Predator struggles for air. SGA rule 4.182 might have saved these damage clubs from abandoning. campaign extermination. These rich people parties always end in a fight over whether a poodle wheat and terrier mix should be called a woodle or a weedle. All I see is water. She got a 
be somewhere out here. They got me a new prescription. Give it time. I'm sure an orca will kill it. The battle is over, but the war goes on. It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark, for now. What is that? While the state of Dead Horse Lake is alarming, we can be assured that a new era of environmental stewardship will restore order to our treasured wild places. <laughs> Attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty.
inviting, but according to the most recent study, the sand here contains dangerously high concentrations of fecal bacteria.